Hello, this is a quick introduction to the Skyrim Character Manager. Um, I'm Wraith808 and I'm the writer of this application. Um, when you open up Skyrim Character Manager, this will be the first screen you'll see a lot less data because um, this already has my characters in it. Um, the first thing you want to do is click the settings button. That'll bring up the settings dialog that has the area where you can type in the path you're executable for launching Skyrim, um, the path where your saves are stored, and the path where you want your backups to be. Um, after that, um, you can then proceed to the Add button. A little window will come up. We'll use our demo Nord um, as our demo character. Um, none of these fields are really checked for anything other than that. Um, you might add that at a later time. For right now, just type in whatever you want there. It saves in a little database, totally separate from your files. Um, once you click OK in a dialog, it'll bring you back to the main screen. Um, you can also type in a little background. Um, and click Save, and that character save. Um, as you can see, coming here where my saves are, now I have a directory for demo under my saves. And if I go to backups, I also have a directory for demo. So going back to the Skyrim Character Manager, we'll use a character that I already have. First, let me go ahead and delete demo, which will only delete the, uh, the information from the database. It doesn't actually leave any files. And as you go back here, you see the folder for demo is still there. Um, but let's go to um, Dell. Um, as you can see, there are three um, different um, tabs here. The first one shows your active files. These are all the files that are for the specified character that are in the main Skyrim directory. As you can see, this is the active character, so there are some for her there, but if I go to other characters, it doesn't show any. Uh, then you have your inactive files. These are the ones that are actually in your character-specific directory. Um, when you deactivate a character, the files are moved from the main Skyrim directory into your inactive directory. Um, you can choose whether or not to overwrite automatically or not. Um, when you activate it, it copies your files from your inactive directory back to the active Skyrim directory. So that will be the one that you're using at the current time. Um, when you do launch Skyrim after um, activating a character, be aware that you might have to load your last save, um, save it and reload it if you have any mods to get the mods to pick up. Some mods pick up fine, other ones um, are a little bit tricky, um, but that save and reload always works to get them active correctly. Um, one other thing you'll also want to notice is that this does not affect your auto saves. So if you had a character already done and it has some activated and had some saves, when you reactivate another character, your auto saves will still be for that prior character. And if your last um, action, the last save was an auto save, when you go into Skyrim and you say continue, it will continue from that other character, just simply because of the fact that that was the last one and the auto save is for that last character. Um, and then you also have a backup directory. Um, I do suggest that characters are backed up, the character save files. Um, note that only the files that are in the active directory are ever backed up. The inactive files are never backed up. Um, as these files can also get pretty huge, um, you can also it's also recommended that you prune your save games at times so that these copies and moves and such don't take um, that long. You can individually activate and deactivate files and delete them from the right-click menu and individually back up also. Um, 
once a character is active, uh, just click Launch to launch Skyrim with that particular character active. Um, there are three other buttons for three sites that I find useful. Um, there's the Elder Scrolls Wiki. Um, it has a lot of inf useful information. Skyrim Nexus, um, which has all the mods you could ever want. And the perk calculator, which lets you plan your perks for your character. Um, the help opens up the local help um, file. Um, the about opens up the Skyrim character manager uh, website. And the credits just shows a little credits dialog. Um, that is a whirlwind tour of the Skyrim character manager. And I hope it's useful.